Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to my shop. So a lot of you guys have been asking me on Instagram for months now, ridiculous amounts of time to do this plant tour. And honestly, I've been a little bit nervous about doing it. But today I figured, what the heck, it's probably been long enough. Let's just get into it. I've got quite a bit, so I'm just gonna do the best I can to show you guys. I do have some problems with exposure and the windows. So if we have any problems, I'll do my best to get around it with the camera. So we'll see how it goes. But I think we should just get started with the tour. Okay, so I'll probably start by telling you <laughs> the temperature and the humidity in here because I know somebody's gonna ask me. I don't know if this still works, I'm gonna be honest with you. I used to have about five of these and they've taken a little bit of a beating to say the least. But it's reading 57% humidity and nearly 24 degrees. Honestly, the temperature feels like that's about right, but I don't think the humidity's reading right. I actually think the humidity's way higher. For anybody that's curious on what the conditions are in here, that's kind of it. Oh, very quickly, I don't have any lights on. All the grow lights are off just so I can take you around because it would be impossible if I kept the lights on. So this is kind of a weird, it's not really organized and you're probably going to sense that that's a little bit of a theme at the minute with the shop, but I have a few different things in here. I do have some variegated Syngonium just sat here. I actually have some variegated Subhastardum, had to think about that, in here as well. I have this which is really pretty. Let me just get this out. It's going to be a little bit difficult because literally everything is just chilling in different places. Oh my god. I'm not 100% on this, but I'm pretty sure it's a type of Sodoroi or something crossed with Sodoroi. That's just sat there chilling at the minute. I think I do have other ones of these, but they're a little bit more, not juvenile, but they're much smaller. I do have some Gloriosum in the back, but I'm not going to bother pointing that out because I have so many, it's a weed in here. And I know I mentioned that in a previous video, but it you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. This situation here, basically, this is about, I don't know, maybe 15 to 20 Queen Anthuriums just kind of rehabbing. I'll try and pick one up and hopefully I won't screw anything up, but I kind of have them rehabbing like this in a bag for humidity right now just in case there's any humidity drops. So the minute they're rehabbing in there and they're doing all right, I've got one or two yellow leaves, but they're okay. I don't know if you can see a bit of yellow on there. They're okay, they're doing all right. Down here, we have some wonderful Anthurium waterburyanum, and they are doing significantly better, I've got to say. They don't look anywhere near as bad as the queens. And honestly, they're not even as fussy as the queens. I have a cheeky little Philodendron El Choco Red right there. And I also have some Gloriosum here as well, randomly, that's growing like a weed. Oh, and also I have a random queen that's just kind of rehabbing in the bottom there. So it's kind of like a weird situation on this shelf, but it's just kind of how it is for now. This is just what happens when things come in. They just get put somewhere to rehab and that's kind of it. So this, I'll start with this. And I don't really know what I can tell you about this because I'm not entirely sure what this is but I'm pretty sure it's a pretty rare Syngonium. I know it's a Syngonium, but I don't know too much on that. It grows extremely long and extremely thin. And when it gets more mature, it just, it, I mean, it gets a bit bigger, but not a lot, to be honest. The leaves still very much stay like this. I don't really know much about it yet. So I haven't made any effort to put it on sale until I fully research basically what the tea is with that, because I don't know. But I have a few of those on this shelf right here. So this here, I'm going to be honest, it's not the sexiest shelf either because this stuff, if you don't give it something to climb up, it's a little bit unruly. But this is variegated Syngonium. Don't know if you can really see, but it can grow really viney and really kind of gnarly if you don't chop it down. So I will be at some point. These aren't really something that I'm just going to push out the door and sell. I'll probably will be chopping these right down and getting better growth because they're kind of reverting a little bit as well. Look, there's a nice white leaf, but it kind of decreases. So really it needs just to be cut back from there. So we'll see what happens with those. Here I have also some yellow variegated Syngonium. I believe that's these two here. And then on that, I have some Monstera Standaliana Variegata right there. So I have two little babby ones of those. I'll not bother talking about these, but here you might be able to see around my hands here are some amazing Gloriosum that are just chilling at the bottom. As I've mentioned, I have a lot of these. They are literally everywhere. So that's those. They're just kind of chilling at the moment in a tray. They need a bit of a water. And here, I'll just kneel down because it's easier. Here we have the wonderful yellow 
variegated monstera this is the big massive one that i chopped up on my living room floor which was maybe late summer last year i'm not really sure um this isn't all of it but this is some of it basically and i've grown this from some node cuttings so that's coming along really really nice i've got about six just here alone they're doing okay not all of them have shown variegation but we'll just see what happens it's a kind of a trial and error thing but we've got one good one there have another one on the other side of the room it's also doing well as well so again here not the sexiest shelf in the world i got these in not long ago at all this is philodendron luxuriance and this is how it came to me not honestly the sexiest plant on planet earth i will show you one that is sexy later on because it's on the other side of the room there but until then <laughs> there's a really bashed up one that needs to rehab have another beautiful gloriosum right here looking very beautiful not the biggest one i've got but it's it's up there i think it's one of the bigger ones that i've got and to be honest it doesn't even look that big in the pot it's got quite a big new leaf coming in right there i have another luxuriance there again not arrived great in fact actually if i can show you right here it actually snapped in transit so i haven't removed the leaf yet but as you can see the petioles just it's done it's out even more gloriosum here again bit of a weed situation this is a really pretty leaf that's just coming in right here it gets plenty of light this one it's lovely underneath that there's not a lot going on in this shelf right now i've got some stumps down there and i've got some mother plants of monstera albo variegata you'll actually see a few of these in the shop but these are the plants i have been cutting down to get cuttings you might be able to see behind me if the camera doesn't blow it out there's actually some more down there as well if i can kind of stand in front of them you can see here there's some more mother plants like that so that's just basically what i'm doing i'm chopping them down and then grow out although that albeit a bit pathetic and then i'm just continuing to use them as mother plants and get cuttings so here we have some monstera albo cuttings and these were from the mother plant that basically the plants are down below but when i got the mother plant the condition of the leaves weren't great anyway which honestly is why i cut the plant down and it is why i took cuttings because i got it a lot of these leaves were burnt so what are you going to do you're probably going to just try and grow them out again right so that's what these are these are actually in lecker at the moment i do have some here oh no they're in lecker too actually they've grown out a little bit i'll pull one out to show you because it's easier although i'm going to drip everywhere variegated growing out but not exactly great success so that that might get chopped and we might try again with that i've got a random i mean i don't know why i've kept this i'll be honest with you because i can't see any variegation on it it's high chance there's variegation on the node but i can't see it on the leaf so i'm assuming that's why i've kept it um, but that i'm pretty sure is another albo monstera here we have some philodendron glorious as well just rehabbing away again even more gloriosum it really doesn't end in this shop so i've got some more there by the way i've got loads more on the other side of the room as well there's more gloriosum on the other side so we're good for gloriosum in here i think the last thing to show you on this side of the room really are the anthurium vici that i got in the mail which i think was was it last week i can't really remember i think it was last week these are rehabbing so these are a while off from sale um, i mean i know most of you guys saw them i got them in the mail they were not amazing so they're basically just going to chill here for however long until they get better and they get some new growth because this this ain't it unfortunately i think that's a new leaf as it's so floppy so it's a shame when stuff like this happens but it happens you know what i mean so we're just gonna have to rehab them and wait and see really i think i'll take you around now because it's too blown out and you're not gonna be able to see me at all so i'll just take you around here because it's easier okay very quickly i don't know if you're gonna get that in the frame very well with the light but that is a regular old epipremnum pinnatum and just here i have the cebu blue version you probably can't tell on camera but i promise you that and the one next to it are different yeah i think you can see if i just cross that leaf in front of that one you can see one is green one is kind of blue so that's in there i do have i only have two bless them but i have two philodendron burly marks variegata this one's getting a little bit dangerous that's quite a lot of variegation in that one this one's looking a little bit better, I guess. But to be honest, this one's too much and this one's not enough. So they'll probably stay here for a little while until I figure out what to do with those. We have some of the Philodendron El Choco Reds that came to me in the mail again that got a bit hammered, needless to say. So they're kind of recuperating over here. I do have some random stuff in here. I'm not going to bother mentioning it because it's all just, you know, either stumps or it's just baby plants or just stuff no one really tends to care about before i move on really quickly this absolute princess is my monstera panati partita if you guys have watched me a long time i've had it a year i didn't get rid of it if people thought i did i just brought it here because it's too big for my house so she lives here and she's awesome next to her i have a couple and i say a couple because i think there's more on the other side of the room here is some philodendron jose bono this is a cutting taking from a mother plant 
Hence, this one has a super big leaf. It's actually attached to this plant. I think you guys have seen this one as well in a video. And then an even bigger one back here. Actually, no, there's two. I tell a lie, there is two. There is this one, and then there is, you know, its sister in a pot behind. You probably can't see it through the gaps in the leaves, but there's a cheeky little monster at the buyer at the top. I don't know if you can get that on camera, but it's right there at the top, doing its thing, growing away. I only have the one, but it's looking all right. So this is my wall. <laughs> of Melanochrysum and Gygus. These are still rehabbing and this is often how Melanochrysum tend to come to me. They look okay. Some of them look better than others, if I'm totally honest. These ones look okay. Some of the lower leaves are just a bit bashed up because obviously they've, they've existed longer. They've had more chance to just kind of get fucked up. So they're going to be rehabbing for a little while longer. Um, here I have some Gygus and the kind of shitty thing about Gygus is it never really looks that good until it starts to climb. It just kind of looks a bit floppy. So I have one here that's a little bit better. I would say it's a bit of a bigger specimen. But if I hold it up next to a Melanochrysum, honestly, <laughs> this is Melanochrysum here. This is Gygus here. There's not an insane amount of difference. I don't know if anyone's really held them up like this before with leaves of this size, but there isn't a huge difference between the two. So I appreciate that's probably honestly quite difficult to tell which is which because even the colors on the new leaves when they come in, they're quite similar. But that is Gygus and that is Melano and they're now stuck together. If I move downward, it gets a little bit more fun because I have some Philodendron Florida Ghost. And here they are. I'll pull one out just so you can see it up close because this one's got amazing white leaves. And honestly, it's just a joy to watch. These aren't ready yet. I do have some in my flat that are larger that are about ready, but none of these ones here are really falling into that category yet. This one's getting there as well, but I need, I think I need at least another leaf or two before that can go out. Obviously some of these here are a lot more juvenile, so they've got a lot longer to go. That one's getting there as well, but it's still got some time. Same as that there. Again, that one's gone a bit wild, doesn't it? Oh my God. <laughs> Never looked at that up close. That's a little bit insane, but that one's got much further to go as well. So this, people might remember this. This is my variegated billetai that I got on a haul ages ago. I think it had one green leaf and then it had one big sectoral leaf uh, beside that. But as I've mentioned before, sectoral variegation just tends to die in a fire sometimes when it goes through the mail. And it did. It went a bit crap, but it's been growing back since and I've got a leaf like that out of it. There is a leaf further in, but I'll probably be able to pull it around if I pull it around gently. Oh, that's proper spiritus vibes out. Look at that. So that's all green. We've got nothing on that one. But this one's doing really well, so I've got high hopes that it's probably going to even out. It's just a waiting game, really. This is a random tie that's just sat here. It probably shouldn't be sat here, but here it is. It's very cute, though. Look. Super cute with all its little fenestrations. So that's just sat there. I do have more. You'll <laughs> trust me. You will see more of those in a bit. Oh, this is a big choco when the leaves get a little bit bigger and a little bit cuter. Really, really pretty velvet leaves. This one's probably ready to go out, to be honest. Lovely pink little growth spike right there. New leaf on the way. Very cute. Very cute. Oh, there's the back of the leaf as well. Super pretty. A few more melano by the looks of it. Another cheeky little Thai constellation there as well. Oh, this before when I mentioned Philodendron Luxurians. This is what I was on about when they come a little bit nicer. This is one I've had to grow out from basically it arriving. Kind of like shit. But this one looks great now, so this one's actually good to go. So she's just gonna go and sit back there. She's been there a little while, actually. Underneath here, now these are really interesting. I love these. I've got quite a few of these. This is Philodendron Montanum, and I can't really describe what they're like. I suppose they do feel kind of rubbery and kind of matte. I don't know if you can really tell what they probably feel like on camera, but they're super awesome. There are lovely little ribs in them. Really, really pretty plants. And these, I don't know if you can tell how big they are on camera, but they're actually really tall. Like these aren't small plants. That's my hand. That's me grabbing a pot. So they're really, really tall plants. They're not little plants. They're a little bit ridiculous. That's why they're on this shelf that is actually, you know, a bit higher than all the others. If I move Burke, I'll cover the bottom first. This is a ridiculously large Anthurium clarinervium that quite honestly is too big for even me. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with that. I should probably separate it because it's probably got, I don't know, maybe got four in one pot. So I'll probably do something with that. This is a huge cutting of a Monstera Tide Constellation. I think there's only two leaves on it, but no doubt it'll grow just fine. Oh, I'm telling a lie, there's three leaves on that. I don't know when that occurred. Apparently that's occurred at some point. I didn't see it. So there's three leaves on that. Uh, if I move up, there is some more Anthurium Beachii. These aren't all 100% up to scratch yet, but this one here I would say probably is. So this one here is probably sellable. That's Anthurium Beachii up close. Very cute. Not the biggest ones I've got. You can probably tell here I've got some much bigger ones, but 
they're not quite ready because as i say once a leaf takes a beating it's like okay well shit i'm gonna have to wait you know however long it takes to get good leaves out of them again so they'll just chill here and i'll gradually just pull them off one by one this is another slight tragic story <laughs> This is another variegated billetai that suffered a little bit in transit. I don't know if you can see the stem here, the petiole, but you've actually got 50-50 variegation going up most of the petiole. And this kind of happens to me, especially with things that are kind of half and half. But you end up getting a yellow leaf, and then you'll get a green leaf, then you'll get a yellow leaf, then you'll get a green leaf. So this one's come out really dwarfed and kind of yellow. Hopefully that's not going to continue to happen, but I don't know. So I'm having to just wait for that one. So it's not a weird deformed overwatered leaf, it's just... It's just come out yellow. I'll swing that back around, put that in there. I'll put it back next to the, well, quite a few ties. I don't know how many there are here. Eight, 16, what's that, 24? 24 ties that are just chilling. They're nearly, nearly up there. Some of these are still just one leaf at the minute because they came in and they were just, they came in ages ago. They came in months ago, but they just did not come good. So I've had these for months and you will see what I mean in a bit. But that is my ties. Oh, and uh, <laughs> up here I have some secrets. This, if you maybe could tell, is a little bit of tissue culture going on. I'm not going to dive into that because I'll probably just do an update video on the tissue culture video I did um, and I'll probably show you what's in these, how it's generally growing, what's happened and all of that sort of stuff. So I'm not going to go into that now because we'll be here all day. But I think that's it for this side of the room. This shit is not glamorous at all. Please pay special attention to my amazing trainers that nobody likes by the way just thought i'd get them on camera as we're here these are known as space trainers according to me you know just while we're here pimping everything out anyway this is basically i've got some boxes here and I, I know no one cares about this shit but i'm telling you anyway just so that you don't feel like disjointed when i walk around the room and you can't you know gauge where things are so this is a big fan that i actually use to keep the airflow up in the room but obviously i've moved it out of the way and i've turned it off so that we're not dealing with that while i'm trying to show you all the plants my amazing fridge which i'll be honest it was one of the first things i got when i came in here because i've always wanted my own mini fridge so that's my mini fridge this is basically my desk where I will do, honestly, editing most of the time. As I say, it's not glam, but what is? So that's where I sit and I do my work. This is basically a nice big tub of soil that I use for potting. And this, this absolute queen, is my wonderful new Monstera. Now, I'm not going to tell you very much about it because I've just realized how far the cameraman's had to move out to get me in. So I'm not going to tell you much about this because I know that you guys have actually asked for a full-on video on it. So I'm just going to kind of graze over it. But what I will show you is how big it actually is because I don't know if it actually comes off. But if I just climb inside it, you can see how ridiculously large it is. And I don't know if you'd like to come and see what it looks like in here. And again, I will do a proper video on this because I know you all are screaming for it. But seriously, you've got to see these aerial roots because it's no joke. That's just all aerial root that I've just had to pile on top of the pot because it's so ridiculous. I don't know when this was last repotted, but it was obviously a while ago. That is insane. Also, respect to the tiny little totem pole that at one point probably actually held the Monstera up. But you can see the sheer size of it just by me grabbing parts of it. It's a little bit ridiculous. It's kind of insane, to be honest. There's no real reason to this, and it's not for sale. I probably look ridiculous right now. <laughs> There's no real reason to this, and it's not for sale. I just really wanted one, so if you're wondering why I've done this, this is for my own personal happiness that I've done this, so you may think I'm weird, and I kind of agree with you. Does it intrude my life? Yes, of course, but I love her. I don't have a name for her yet. I'll get to that in the specific video on her, but I haven't actually named her yet. Down here, for some odd reason, <laughs> I have a random tray of more tie. And this ain't all the tie. This is a problem of mine. But I have some tie here. If you actually get to look here, I do have some Alocasia dragon scale, which I know I mentioned in last week's video, I think, actually, last Tuesday's video. So they're coming along well. They're not perfect yet. They are definitely getting there, though, day by day. They're getting just a little bit better each time. So a little bit of a waiting game on those, but they are getting there. They do normally get more light than this, by the way. I've just had to kind of put them here for the tour. Normally, I use a little bit more of the room, but in order to kind of navigate it properly, shit has to go somewhere. This, oh my God, this is, I'm pretty sure it's another piece from the big yellow Monstera that I chopped up, but it wasn't yellow. So I've kind of potted it up and it's got, you know, it's grown one lonely little leaf that is also not yellow. So I'm probably just going to keep that chilling. This here is something quite special. 
This, I believe, is Drynaria Coercifolia Pinto. It's basically a variegated basket fern. And I know a few people might recognize this from, I don't know, houseplant tours, like the, from the very beginning, to be honest. I've had this a long time. I brought it here because it was just doing terribly and it's gotten huge. It does only have one frond at the minute, one leaf, but it's getting much better and the variegation's coming back. So that's awesome because I was pretty sure that it was reverting in my house under my watch. So here, again, a bunch of random stuff. So this here are some Monstera, not Epipremonies, they're a skeletal now. So I've got, I don't know, six of them, four of them. I can't work it out. No, I've got five of them. What am I talking about? So I have some of them there. They're a long way off. They are chilling. They need to grow quite a bit. Now you may notice here <laughs> a large amount of variegated Monstera cuttings that I took a while ago. A few of you might know that this still ain't it because I actually have quite a few in my flat still that I know a few of you will have seen in the backdrop to my recent videos because I changed where I filmed. So this isn't even all of that. There's still some at home because I've kind of run out of room. But I basically been growing cuttings. This one here is an example of not necessarily what I expected to happen, but in the case with this one, this one's done really well. I could probably chop this off now and plant it separately and it can become its own little elbow. So that's doing really, really well. I have some miscellaneous stuff here, like, you know, the odd tie up here. And if I move, I tell you what, I'll move down here because I have some random stuff down here. This is also from my flat. This is Anthurium linealatum. This leaf has taken a bit of a knock. This is the original leaf from when I got it, actually. And this is a new one that's only just grown recently. And it's super awesome and I don't even tell how big it is but it's pretty big. I do have some anthurium macrolobium down here they don't look like much right now but I promise you the shape of these change entirely. I do have a few and they're growing really well so they're super cute as well. I think they are more sodoroi well sodoroi variants there as well that could be a pasta. I'm not sure that could be pasta zanum. You'll see that's a pattern. There are some things that I get them into the shop and you know, I haven't caught them in time and they've gone to a stump. I might not necessarily know what it is till it grows back. <laughs> that just kind of happens. That's kind of shop life for you. That's part of the glamorousness of having a shop. More secrets <laughs> in here that I'm just not gonna bother to tell you about because it's not really around. There's loads of stuff up here, but I'm not really gonna tell you about that either, to be honest, because it's just all over the place. But we will travel back down here where I will show you my philodendron plowmanii because I have quite a few. Some of them are kind of ready, some of them kind of aren't, but they look super cute when they come in. There's an even awesomer leaf further down uh, when I get to them. But there's some plowmanii. Again, some more gloriosum because they're like a weed. I do have some epipremnum panatum kind of growing away. There's different, you know, different amounts of, to be honest, because that one's a bit larger than that. I generally have quite a few props going in the back. They've got pretty good variegation on them as well if I pull them out. There's not much to them, obviously, because they're a long way off, but they're cute. On top of that, I've got some of my favorite things in this shop at the minute, to be honest, and that are these amazing Anthurium crystallinum. And I think, I don't know how many big ones I've got now, maybe five or six of these, and they're really awesome. They only have one leaf, but the one leaf they've got, you know, it counts, you know what I mean? So I've got some of those. Some of them are still coming in and they're all floppy and bronzy still. So they're really, really exciting. There's is actually that's something else. I think that might be Magnificum, Anthurium Magnificent. I can't remember. I think it is. So yeah, this is mainly Anthurium down here. I do have some more up here as well. That's still a little bit floppy. That's probably gonna get a little bit bigger. Up here, honestly, miscellaneous. Here is a kind of cute, sprouty little philodendron pink princess that just kind of chills here. I don't really know what to do with that because I don't think anyone's going to want to, you know, have that the way it is. So it's just kind of growing out here. This is a cutting of my philodendron varicosum that I brought from home. That's kind of growing out as well. Again, up here, just some bits and bobs. There's nothing really much to touch on. There's a little bill tie there. This, obviously, is my wonderful Queen Anthurium. It's it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, you can't really say much other than it's amazing. That's the leaf that it came to me with, and this is the leaf that is grown in here, which I'm pretty impressed with because I don't have insane humidity in here, to be quite honest. I don't think it ever really goes above 70s on a lot of days. Sometimes it will, generally it won't though. So I'm actually really impressed to have something that sexy come out of that. Oh, oh, we need to speak about this because this is actually like my favorite thing in the world. And it's just a gloriosum, but it's uh, it's really mature and it's got the biggest, fattest lobes on this plant. And honestly, it's just my favorite thing. I just put my hand on it so you can see how big it is. It's just, honestly, I love it. Really bright veins as well, so. I've just kind of left it here to just sort of crawl around the floor because I'm kind of obsessed with it, I'm not gonna lie. Again, another um, crystallinum that's still floppy, so that's gonna get, honestly, probably even bigger than that. More gloriosum, can you see a pattern? Um, on top of that, some philodendron Jose Bono with a seriously white leaf coming in by the looks of that. A lot of this is kind of growing down, like a weed down here as well. I've got a lot of this. So obviously I have some here and then I have the one that I mentioned before on the other side of the shop. Uh, yet more gloriosum. 
Why not? Can you tell I like Gloria Wilson quite a bit? There's some more there as well. This is kind of a weird oddball situation, I'm not gonna lie. So here I have a philodendron UPI in Lekka that it nearly lost all of its root, to be honest. So it's kind of rehabbing in the minute. That's why it looks a little bit shit, but it's getting better. It's growing just fine. This is another one of those big yellow bad lad monsters, just like the one on the other side of the room before, where this one is in Lekka at the moment, and it's looking super cute. I think that would be a random melano in there. My variegated spathophyllum that quite honestly hated me in my flat. It couldn't stand the sight of me, so I brought it here. It kind of took a dive after I brought it in. So it's doing fine now. It's in Lekka, but it wasn't doing fine before. So that sat there. I've got a bunch of shit in there that I'll just not go over because most of it is a stump, so nobody cares, right? Until it's not a stump anymore. Up here, Jesus Christ, I've got so much stuff. This is more Anthurium crystallinum here. Not much to say other than it's sat there. Um, on top of that, I have some Philodendron Strawberry Shake that is not looking perfect yet. It's quite a way off this stuff, I think. I'm gonna grow this out quite a bit because I'm just not, I'm not loving how it's grown. But that's, it's healthy, it's cute. It's just not, it's just not sexy enough, you know what I mean? This is Philodendron Glorious and it's a little bit wonky, to be honest. I've got a little bit of a stake holding that up. That's that. Oh, and this, this is really sexy. This is a new leaf on a Philodendron Plowmanii and I brought it to the front of the shelf just before I started filming so you could see how unbelievably sexy that is because it's just the best. You can see it's brand new. What else do I have? Holy shit. I have some more Glory Awesome. Um, I have some wonderful Philodendron El Choco Red, again, just chilling with the lovely hot pink catafils right there. Brand new leaves here and here, so they're looking really a little bit floppy still. That's how you know that they're not quite hardened off yet. Oh, I have some Anthurium Forgetii, because why not? I actually have a lot. This needs separating out because it's kind of popped all over the place. That's Forgetii there. I, I kind of have a whole tray of that. Honestly, again, kind of oddballs. Down here, I have the Thai Sunrise that I showed you guys a few videos back, actually, when I unboxed the grow lights on my channel, and that's kind of how it's doing. It's already kind of, to be honest, it's grown really quickly. So that's that. Here I have Monstera Peru variegata that does have variegation on that leaf, it just hasn't fully you know, come through yet. There's a little bit of Philodendron 69686. There is some Amedrium medium blue at the back. I think this is actually a mixture of blue and green here. I do have some further up, I'll show you in just a second. This is just a random assortment of a type of Philodendron varicosum as well. If I come back up very quickly, I think there's a couple of white knights here. There are some variegated ZZ that actually all snapped at the stem. Same as the one I got in, just snapped. So they're kind of just here until they either live or die, basically. I don't really know what's gonna happen with those. Here is some more Amedrium medium. Uh, these are the green form. And I did mention on my video last week about the fact they run for, well, miles. This is basically those runners coming off. I will chop these down. I just I really haven't really had time, to be honest. So they're kind of chilling there for now. Again, I'm not gonna touch on what's up there because it's it's a little bit ridiculous, to be quite honest, but I've got some large billies up there. Oh, here's my UPI though, you can see that, because that's huge. And it doesn't usually live in this exact spot, but this is kind of where it's living today. And I've got a new leaf coming in there as well. Random propagations here. And this is the variegated dragon scale that is living here currently. Uh, oh, in addition to that, actually, I have a variegated silver dragon as well, which I may as well show you now. It's only small, but there you go. Some variegation on that. It's still a babby. It's still cute. So that's going to take a little while to grow out. Uh, that's kind of it. Oh, down here. More secrets. <laughs> secrets you're not allowed to know about. And um, there's also this. Uh, I don't really know how to explain this, to be honest, but I have some Thai. <laughs> I got these Thai in, quite honestly, to be brutally honest with you, I got these months ago, and it's just taken so long to rehab them. I must have, I don't know how many, you know, I'm not even gonna count it because I don't know how many I have there, but I have quite a few that are rehabbing in the minute. They kind of take over my life being in here because they take over half the room, but they're kind of on their way, they're getting better. Some of them are almost ready, to be honest. I think that might be it. I think I've covered everything. Do you think we've covered everything? Yeah, apart from like one or two just random big plants that are at the top, I don't really think there's anything else to show you guys. I think that is kind of it. I do have the odd plant on the windowsill here. Camera's probably really not going to let you see it, but I've got strelitz here basically all along the windowsill. One of them is variegated. The one over there with the moisture meter in is variegated. And I guess that's kind of my shop, to be quite honest with you. It's, it's not necessarily the most glamorous thing. 
it's got a lot of plants in it that I'm not doing too much with at the minute. I'm just, I'm mainly focused on growing them with the current situation. Not every plant in here is perfect. Don't get me wrong. I'm very much aware of that, but a lot of these are in rehab. It's kind of a case of some are, some aren't. It really depends where you look. You know what I mean? Like this plant here is clearly ready to go out, but there are some others like, uh, this is Cestus mirabilis, by the way, that's just done. It's checked out. That's going to be a long time before that even grows. So it really kind of depends. They should really maybe be a bit, bit more organized, but I'm kind of at full capacity in the minute, so I can't necessarily organize things very well. So that's kind of why it is this way. Um, but it looks pretty sexy, to be honest. It almost looks like a living wall in some, some forms. I feel like down here, it looks a lot more like a living wall and I'm totally here for it. Again, possibly my favorite plant in the entire room, with the exception of the massive Monstera. That could well be my favorite plant at the minute. It kind of changes every week because obviously, I mean, I've got a few plans to choose from. You feel me? So if you like this video, please leave a like down below. And if you have any questions on the shop, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to your questions. Um, I think that's it. I will see you in next week's video. Bye guys. Should I keep going? <laughs> is, is it good to keep going? Okay. Oh, breath all the time because I just talk so much and all the air fucking depletes. It's bad, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, basically like a fucking whoopee cushion. Yeah. So <laughs>